Yo guys, welcome, welcome back to another episode of the Hack Podcast. Today we've got an episode with Lil Vlad. Hello guys. So, um, yeah, pretty much I'm just going to be asking you some questions and then seeing just general conversation of um, just like sort of same format as the one before. So, um, yeah. What inspired you to start editing and what was your first software? So, my first software was Vegas like eight years ago, back in the Minecraft times. But then, uh, one year ago, around, it was uh, September, and I was watching King's Highlights, uh, edited by Timothy, who was, who was, by the time, one of the best highlight editors. And I, uh, he really inspired me to do my own highlights. So I wanted to edit like Timothy, and that's where it all started. Yeah, there's like a specific question that I had. Um, so when did you like learn Blender and stuff? Because I've seen like you use Blender a lot in your videos. And oh, Blender. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I I'm in Blender like around three months, but lately like one month. Wait, wait, I don't know how to. Uh, so like one month you've been using it like a lot, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, started yeah. using a lot like one month ago, like one month around. I, yeah. I really start learning it, yeah, more in yeah. depth. So what would your like advice be for any upcoming editors that are trying to get recognition? I know that you're, you recently have started to garner a lot more um, attention than before, but um, what was your kind of like experience with blowing up and getting like more likes on Twitter and followers and so that and like fans and everything? So what would you like give your advice to people who are trying to grow? Uh, I mean, I never tried to pop up like I was just editing you know so yeah. any advice that I would give is just get out of your comfort zone guys and try new things that's the main thing and maybe edit something then I lights some something different and just enjoy editing that's the important thing yeah because that's the whole point of it really you're supposed to be enjoying yeah, it yeah. like keeping yeah up, and keeping sure. that like fire you know what I mean like enjoying yeah, what, right. what you want to be doing yeah, so the next question would be, what was your opinion on pack leaking? Be I don't know if you've ever released a pack before, but um, I know with a lot of people, they've had like bad experiences with it and stuff. So what would you say your like personal experiences with it? So I never released a pack, and of course I don't support that stuff, because it ruins the business for the editor itself. Like, he works hard for that product to sell, and then someone just grab it and for free, and maybe do money with it, with it. So yeah, I don't for this stuff. Yeah, I don't. But like would it. you um? Are you considering making a pack in the future, or are you just keeping the grind at the moment? Yeah, yeah, I'm keeping the grind, and I'm about to release a pack. Oh, okay. So um, in your opinion, do you think like you have an ego, or do you try and keep yourself like quite humble? Uh, I think I'm not a person that has a high opinion by by myself but I always try to not put people higher or lower the levels like we we're all the same people we all in the same earth I mean yeah that's it really good way to actually think about it. really good mindset so what would you say your favorite highlight video of all time would be uh, wait can we, uh, is there any noise because I see there's the green stuff no I, I know it's just a little bit of background noise but it doesn't really matter Wait, I think, yeah, because I see there's a lot of, is this better right now? Yeah, no, it's completely fun. Yeah, just got it, sorry. Yeah, no, it's uh, good. Okay. Um, so what would you say, like, your all-time favorite highlight video would be? I don't have a single highlight video, but I really love the part two by Howie Inspector. Is I think it was the Nick's 30 seconds editing contest. Oh, okay. I just really love that song and yeah. So and I also have a playlist of my favorite edits that I watch sometimes. I didn't know you actually had that too, so that's quite cool. Um, you know, I've not seen many people do stuff like that. But, yeah. um, so who would you say your all-time like dream client is? Because I know you've... Um, You've been doing a lot of client work recently, but what would you say, like, your, if you could pick anybody in the community, like any pro, any content creator, who would you choose? That's an interesting question because we already discussed with my friends and not once, and I I never had a, a, a response for that, 
but maybe some big team like Norkel or even a face member or just a big highlight content creator. You know? So you would say like a you would kind of say like an introducing video for an org or something. You would quite like. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. So yeah. something that. That's actually Those pretty. Men. Most people say like Mitra and things like that because of how impactful he's been on the scene, but it's quite a um, unique artist. To be fair. But um, so what would you say like in the case of Fortnite in general, who do you think is the best editor overall when it comes to like all types of styles and editing, like motion design, highlights, montages? Like who would you say in your opinion and you enjoy to like watch and if you have some spare time, like you enjoy clicking on their videos and just having a little bit of time just watching them. So I don't know someone that is good in all the type of stuff, but of course I love Nyx and Rosen. I really enjoy their editing. And there's some more. Uh, I really lately been enjoying AP's last uh, highlights. Uh, I love Tesla too. I yeah. Tisla. Not a lot of people say Tesla actually. Tesla is a very, yeah, yeah. Um, very talented. Enjoyable, so. yeah. Pretty yeah. good. He has quite a unique style where he's kind of like mixed a few styles together. Yeah, and yeah. He has quite an enjoyable, um, and quite an enjoyable yeah, style. But um, would you say any of those like edits have like inspired your recent like edits or anything? Because you have quite a unique style when it comes to like the three D transitions and stuff. I've never really seen anything like that before. Most people are quite shocked when they saw that. So um, yeah, would you say any of those editors have like inspired you in any way or inspired anything you've done? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Like, one of my ideas when I did the transition, I was like watching the one of those people that uh, inspire me, uh, and that was a smoothie highlight. Oh when he did that yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I see the resemblance now. Actually, I didn't think yeah. about that. Um, yeah, that's pretty. Now that I think yeah, about it, yeah, I, mean... I, di I didn't really think about that. Um... So what would you say your plans for the future are, like short term, obviously like that's the next couple of months sort of thing. You said you were trying to release a pack, but what would you say your like long term goals are? Would you like to make like editing a career or would you like to keep it as a hobby? Would you like to expand into different games and would you like to expand to content? Like what would you, what would be your like dream goal? Mm, okay, okay. So my plans for the future uh, is always just getting better, uh, better Constantly at improving, editing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And be more versatile, like, make every, like, motion design, 3D, montage, but that's that's a different question. But, like, just be overall more versatile and maybe try to edit for a famous artist, like, music or oh, something so you'd like, like to, that. Oh, so you'd like to, in the future, yeah. go into music videos? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, because... I, especially at the moment, I see, I've heard from leaks especially, they say that music videos and other things inspire their ed like their Fortnite edits quite a lot. Yeah, would yeah, you, yeah. Would you yeah, say yeah. that as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's true. That's... Yeah. So, um, the next question is, do you go to school? And how do you feel you handle school and, like, keep up with, like, editing and stuff? Because it depends on, like, how much clients you get and stuff. And do your parents, like, support you through this? And have you really, like, had any difficulties with school and editing? Uh, so yeah, of course I go to the school, uh, and as it's my last year in the school, uh, this one is really overloaded with uh, works and kind of stuff. So for now, it's not easy to edit like all the time. So I don't have that much free time. Yeah. But I still try to edit as much as possible. So yeah. And my parents, I really. S Talk with them, but they just they're just they're just neutral. Is yeah, it? I, like so, would yeah. you say your parents are the generation where they don't understand it as much, or would you yeah, say yeah, like, yeah, yeah? That's it's, maybe because they really, like it, it. Really does depend on your parents' age and things. because yeah. like because how different maybe before we when they were our age, they didn't even have internet, so it's like very different to hear like their kids like yeah, they're more in the stuff. past. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, in your opinion, what do you think looks better, 24, 30, or 60 FPS? So, I don't think there are any good FP FPS. Like, I mean, every editor has their own style, and for each style, there's a good F FPS for it. So, so wait, it's all you, up to them. So, for, for you specifically, I 
think, think you read it in 30, 30, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you say, like, for those specific, like, montage-type edits, like, they're not actually montages, but they're kind of, like, that sort of style, you would say that works better, but most people say for pro videos, they enjoy more when it's, like, 60, because you can kind of yeah, see what's yeah, going yeah. on with the clip and stuff. So, yeah. Um, so, in your opinion, right now, who do you think are the top three highlight editors at the moment? So, at this time, in my opinion, for me, the top three is, of course, Sneaks. Yep. Shan and Rosen. So you say Shard, did you say? Uh, no, Shan. I think Shan. it's how it's called, right? Shan. I do not know who that is. This one. Maybe I'm Oh, just Zan, Zan, Zan. Yeah, Zan, yeah, Zan, yeah, yeah, Zan no. sorry. Yeah, no, it's okay, it's okay. I, I didn't know what you Let's meant. Let's redo this. Let's yeah, redo this. no, it's fine, bro, it's fine, don't worry. Um, <laughs> no, people will get mad. <laughs> that was so funny. I always <laughs> called him. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, um... That's definitely three good picks, actually. I would I would agree with the um those picks. They're, they've all got very different styles, actually, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. So, um, would you say there's a TV show or anime or something that's, like, influenced you in your editing style in any way? Because I, I see from a few friends and things that they find, like, different animes and shows, like, influence their editing style, not just their specific yeah. ones. So I used to love watching uh, Flash. I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, but mainly I just watch Narcos films like that. So, and I'm more of the film guy, you know, not yeah. for the episode. So, so have you ever like consider? Have you ever considered like a career and possibly like editing movies or things like that? Would you ever think of that in the future? Mm, that's kind of hard, but not right now. Maybe in the future, yeah. If the road goes I don't know far. how old you are. How old are you? Uh, I'm 17. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. So you're a lot older than most highlight editors, to be fair. Um, yeah. So, how, this is quite a um, unique question. Where would you say you come up with your ideas? Do you like have specific um, methods of coming up with like writing them down other things like i see a lot of people do write them down and things like that do you tend to do you have a specific unique um way of coming up with your ideas or writing down your ideas so i just come up with ideas by watching like any films or edits overall but mostly i have good ideas at night and i just write them down sometimes but sometimes when i can't express my words I, I can even go to Blender and just try to remake it, like, it yeah. can be bad, but I just try to remake it, or just paint it, and, yeah, and write it down. So I have some, like, other little questions that are just some tiny little ones that I thought of. So what would you say is, so what's your, like, favorite genre of music, and who's your, like, favorite artist at the moment that um, you've been enjoying? I don't have a specific uh, genre. How? Wait, wait, stop. So you say uh, genre, yeah, you say genre. Yeah, yeah, genre, yeah, it's how it's called, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, I don't have a specific, like, genre favorite music, but for now, I'm listening to Central C. Yes, yeah, uh, so UK, UK rap sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, sort of that, yeah. Uh, really enjoying uh, SSG Kobe, I, I think okay. it's how... Yeah, that is how you say it, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so would you say, because I, I think your last edit was a UK Draw song, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. so, yeah, yeah. So would you, would you like editing to them in the future? Do you enjoy editing to those, or do you prefer, like, American sort of thing? Yeah, I'm really lately enjoying editing uh, UK Drill, and I think I'll just stick to it. Yeah, it suits your style quite a lot. I've seen, like, back in back before, Rosen's been using that a lot because of it fits that kind of style with the um, crazy effects and stuff. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for questions. Would you like to say anything else to the audience? Like, um, any kind words or anything? Uh, I just want to say thank you for the huge support, for, for everyone just supporting me, and that's it. So yeah, um, thanks for coming on the podcast today, little Vlad. Um, make sure to go follow him if you haven't already on Twitter and subscribe to him on YouTube and all that kind of stuff. I'll leave his all his links in the description. But thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next podcast.